shit a part of me Shit never part of me Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video in the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I can do this really clean and unique effect in Sony Vegas. I'm going to keep this intro really, really short so we can get straight into the video. But if you could do me a quick favour by dropping a like and subscribing with post notifications on, it really, really would mean a lot. As I have put a lot of time into making this video, so if you can just spend two seconds out of your day by paying me back by doing that simple task, it would really, really mean a lot and I do highly appreciate that. If this video hits 500 likes then I'll make a whole video on how to edit exactly like me. I'm going to be going over text, cinematics, effects, sound effects, everything. So let's get 500 likes in this video and I'll bring that video for you guys. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to go ahead and do for this clip is just mark all the beats of the song. So we're going to be using these for the impact shakes. It doesn't matter what song you're using, just mark any of the beats that you can find. And then identify the main beat drop where you want the kill to happen. So in my case, I have two smaller beat drops right here. And then this is just to mark where I want to do this sort of song switch sort of sound effect, which we'll see later. And then here is where the actual main beat drop happens where I want the kill to go. So to sync this up, all we want to go ahead and do is just find where the blue crack happens on the kill and then we're just going to put that there and drag this out add a bit of fade in just for this clip and yeah that's basically it synced up now we're going to add velocity so just insert oh dear insert remove uh, velocity double click that then go one two three four five six seven eight back there and go one forward and then go like three quarters in between 50 percent and then put this to 300 percent and then you just want to split the clip like there that's cool and then you want to split the clip on the beat drops and split the clip where you want to do the sort of wacky sound effect um just before we start anything we can also do that to the audio because we're going to be editing this audio later as well so the first thing we want to go ahead and do is add the impacts you just want to go to s underscore shake and then drag the default version on and you can copy my settings for the impact here we go just copy all these down and once you've copied that you just want to animate the amplitude go like a quarter or a third into the video and put this all the way down to zero again again you want to go ahead and do the same thing on the next one uh just animate the amplitude and then go like a little bit into the clip and put that down to zero next you want to go ahead and add some glow so you can change the color of this depending on the color theme of your video uh, i'm going to be using red for this one because i just think it looks really clean and you can copy these settings. Um, I recommend dropping the threshold down a little bit just so it shows. I'm gonna put mine to like 3.5. Go a little bit after where the shape finishes and just put that down to zero. And then we can just go ahead and do the exact same thing here. Put this down to like, there's good. And put this to red. Again, put it to any color you like. I think red looks really clean. And drag that down to zero. And there's your impact shakes done. As you can see, it will shake a little bit and add some nice glow. Next thing we're going to be editing is the audio. So go to effects, amplitude modulation. Okay. Put this to wacky. And that's done. That will already be in your Vegas, by the way. It's a preset already in there. Next thing you want to go ahead and add is some flicker. Drag in the default version and copy my settings right here. And that is done. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And yeah, it's pretty clean. It's really nice for a song switch, but in this case, I'm just going to keep the song exactly the same. All right, so now that we've done the impact shakes, we've added a bit of effects on the audio before the kill, we want to actually add the effects on the kill. So first thing is BCC Lens Blur. Uh, you just want to copy my settings here, drag on the default version. I'm going to go with an RS scale of five, and then you want to go like speed frames into the clip and drag this down to zero. Next thing we're going to be adding is a bit of glow. You can use that exact same glow as we used before actually if you'd like to. I'm just going to go ahead and do that because it's pretty clean. Again, I'm going to make this red but you can choose any colour you'd like. I'm going to lower the threshold a little bit. I'm going to keyframe the brightness and go a little bit after the DCC lens blur. And just drag that all the way down. Next thing we're going to be adding is a bit of shake. I've shown plenty of different highlight shakes. You can use any single highlight shake you have already saved. Or you can go ahead and use this one. I'm going to use right here best highlight shake and you can copy my settings let me just open these all up so yeah you can go ahead and copy these settings it's just a very generic sort of highlight shake and you just want to go a little bit into the video here 
uh, actually a little bit further go about three quarters into the clip and drag that down now that's done next thing you want to go ahead and add is a bit of raise s underscore raise just drag and drop the default version on and you can go ahead and copy my settings you want to keyframe the raise brightness go to where the glow ended and then drag this all the way down to zero and that is basically the effect right there so you can click shift and b to pre-render it and you should have something that does look a little bit like this it looks really really clean especially when complemented with the little shakes before it it's a super easy and simple effect to do and yeah that's basically the effect all right so final thing you have to do super simple just add these sound effects in um, I'm going to be adding in swoosh for both of these smaller impacts right here. Uh, you can find these in my Discord link in the description in the editing asset section. There's all these sound effects that I'm using in this video. Don't worry about this one by the way because that is where I was just marking it for the change of sound effects on the audio or on the song. And then on the final one I'm just going to use the shortcut kind of sound because it just makes it look 10 times better. And yeah that's basically all you have to do. Add the sound effects in and the whole effect is done right there. So yeah guys, that is the effect. I really hope you did enjoy watching this video and you did learn something from it. If you did, again, please can you just do me a huge favor by dropping a like and subscribing with post notifications on. It really would mean a lot. Also, if you would like to, please check out my other highlight videos on my channel. I have lots of other effects just like this on these videos as well. So please could you go check those out? It'd really mean a lot. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.